or what about life is beautiful to you? I'm breathing. <clears throat> I'm here. The little things, people. You forget. Don't forget. It is the little things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video by the title is another interview with my mom. Hello, I'm her mom. <laughs> so today it was a little bit difficult to come up with these, well, not today, but a couple days ago. It was difficult to come up with these questions because I'm starting to run out of questions, but I think we did good. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, question number one. What is your favorite activity or hobby to do? I do, uh, I do a lot. Um, I like to play with my dog and Ooh. my cat. Ooh. I like to go shooting. Ooh, okay. And I do odds and ends of crafts. Ooh, that's where I get it from. Question number two. What advice would you have gave yourself when you were 18? <laughs> oh. That's a cool boy name. Yes, it is. <laughs> be, you need to be more patient with yourself. Mmm. That's a good one. So when you say patient, it's kind of like don't be need, don't be too hard on yourself. Yes, don't be, be too hard on yourself. With yourself. Yes, that's a good one. Because I feel like that age category, like eighteen to twenty-six, is like when you make a lot of mistakes and you do a lot of growth. <laughs> yours, mm. yours kind of had a little bit more extra to it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can go into it one day if she's comfortable. Of course. Question number three: What is one thing you would like to change about the world? Oh, get rid of haters. Oh, that's what Becca said. I love it. You get rid of haters and you get rid of the media. Right. Because mm. the media, they just want to make money. Yeah. And they end up firing stuff up too much. Yes. Number four, what does self-love look like to you? If you wanted to treat yourself oh, for my a loving neck. day. My nails, my feet, relaxing. Mm, relaxing. Yes, relaxing. Trying That's to relax. Good. Yeah. Number five, what is your biggest challenge you are overcoming right now in this season of life? Oh my goodness gracious. I overcame it yesterday and I'm hoping the 4th of July does the same thing. <laughs> the thunder, the lightning. Mm. Yesterday when it thundered and lightning, I wasn't anxious. I didn't cry. Yay! And I, I, I was so happy I wanted to go outside and dance in the rain, but my <gasps> sister told me to get back in the house. <laughs> Aunt Karen would. And um, do you want to go into a backstory of why, or do you want to save it for another video? You can do it now or later. Okay, why? La last year was a hard year for everyone because of the virus. Mm -hmm. But my heart got broken because we had a tornado and it took my home. Mm -hmm. And I was stuck in that house and could not get out. And the oddest thing is when you call 911, you expect them to come. Yeah. And they couldn't come. Yeah. It was it was a bad tornado. And then when they I got a lot of calls. Yes, they did. The whole uh, yeah, mm, no. The whole that whole little area. Yes. Was... I was stuck in that house and I heard every noise, every creak, every mm. bang boom. And I didn't really think I was gonna make it out of the house. Mm. Well I'm proud of you for that thunderstorm yesterday. Yes, I am too. You should always celebrate the wins. Okay, number six. What was the last time when was the last time? You tried something new, and what was it? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. No, I got the answer. Oh, that's quick. The house that I was in, I relocated to uh, another house, and mm -hmm. these people have behaviors. So that is new to me, mm -hmm. and my mind has to work in order to effectively and adjust. And adjust to these mm. individuals. Oof. That's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Yes, it's waking up my brain. Oh, man. Yeah, the reason I asked this question is because um, on one of my videos, one of like the psychologist, doctor people, he said that um, when you do something new, 
no matter what it is or what age you are or like what the activity is it releases um cell not cells receptors or something in your brain and it keeps your brain active well my, my brain was stuck mm. because of the three tragedies that i had last year mm -hmm. my brain was catching up with them yeah Mm -hmm. And it's easy for our brain to get off track, I feel like. Number seven, what gets you excited about life? You walk outside, you hear the birds singing. Mm. You hear uh, people singing. You like singing? I think you do. Yeah, I do. That's where I, I like he got it from. I, I love music. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Number eight, what life lesson did you learn the hard way? You know, I was talking to my sister last night, who I love and adore. Mm -hmm. Hey, Aunt Karen, you're probably not watching this, but hey. My life lesson was the hottest lesson of my life. I had to realize that when my mom died, she wasn't coming back. And mm -hmm. let me tell you, being a 12 year old, you you don't understand, you really don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Especially in the 70s, everything was so innocent. Right. I forever looked for her. Yeah. That was the hardest lesson from in my life. Oof. Number 10. What in life is beautiful to you? Or what about life is beautiful to you? I'm breathing. <clears throat> I'm here. The little things, people. You forget. Don't forget. It is the little things. Okay. Question number 11, what does happiness mean to you? It's joyful. Mm. It's the everyday little things mm. that you do for yourself, that you take time out for yourself. And that's what it means to be happy? To me it does. Beautiful, it's so simple. Cause I feel like a lot of people really do forget about the simple stuff and we take it for granted. It's hard not to do people, okay? Question number 12. What is one thing you wish other people understood about you? That's a good one, ain't it? <laughs> no, it's an easy one. I oh, okay. I don't care. At I all? No, I don't care what other, it's not my business to care what other people think about me. What do I want them to know is a different story. It's what you want to share with them. Oh! Yes, it's what, Mama. They, it's what you want to share with them. If you don't want to share it, then it's, mm. it's yours. You heard it. But what you think of yourself is more important than what other people think of you because because if you worried about that every day, you'd drive yourself crazy. I don't care what you all think of me. That <laughs> is rat. it. Sorry. <laughs> that is it. God. I love me and that's all that counts. See, this is why we're here. This is what we do, people. Take notes. Take notes. Oh, this is a good one for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, question number 13. What difference would it make in your life if you felt completely safe and confident all the time? That's two different questions. You're never gonna ever come, you're never ever going to feel completely safe unless you're in your mother's arms and my my Opinion. world. Mm. Because the world we live in is crazy. Mm, that too. Now to feel confident in yourself, you can do just about anything. But that is gotta, true. But you got to work at being confident in yourself. Yeah. And then believing what, in yourself. Right. That's the thing. That's the thing. You can do just about anything. Okay, question number 14. If you could spend a whole day with <laughs> someone, dead or alive, who and why? And I'm pretty sure they can guess by now. My mother. Yep. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, my mother. Aww. It would always be my mother. I'm sorry, Daddy. And I know you're sitting on the cloud with Mommy, just shaking your head. But I had more time with you than I did with her, so it would be my mom. Mm. Question number 15. What are you most proud of yourself for and why? I'm most proud of myself that I got through last year. <gasps> Look at you. That I really got through last year between the tornado the girl with the knife and the shooting next door to where I work. Mm -hmm. Those were three traumas within three months that I had to face. Mm. And I am so proud that my nurse, Faith, who is a fantastic woman, helped me get into counseling. Mm, that's good. Yeah, because that's a lot for someone yeah, to my process. Mind, yeah, my mind wasn't processing it. Yeah. 
Question number 16. If money was no issue, where would you live and what would you do every single day? Let me go find a desert island and make sure there's no uh, bad weather. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you do every day? Listen to the ocean come in. Mm. Smell the fresh air. It'd be the simple things. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah it is the simple things. Mm -hmm. Question number 17. Oh my God, you are on fire. We are ripping through these. <laughs> Question number 17. If a genie granted you three wishes today, what would it be? Take away cancer, hatred, and let me see my parents for 10 minutes. Oh, God, are you? Okay, see, Daddy, I included you. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you is killing these. Oh, that's a good one. The first one, the cancer. Yeah, take it away. That's a good one. 18. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally? I need to stop expecting people to be organized, on time. Mm, that's a tough one. Yes. The on time thing is my issue too. Yes, because, yeah. yeah. It's hard. Well, I'm very grateful that when I changed homes, the home I am in now for your work, Yes, for my work. Mm -hmm. The third shift is always on time. Yeah? Yes. Because Ooh. one of the houses I worked in, it was terrible. The yeah. It was a 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, two hours, and that just gets a little frustrating. Yeah. I get it. Especially when you're working late. Yes. Question number 19. What is your favorite childhood memory? Oh, that's so easy. It would be Karen, my sister, my brother Maurice, my mother and my father at Christmas time. We had the best Christmases. Really? Yes, my sister and I were talking on the phone yesterday when I said that question. She started laughing and I started laughing. Because mm -hmm. that was the best. Aww. Question number 20. If a doctor gave you five years left to live, what would you do? <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't think they give you a number of years. They kind of give you a percentage. <laughs> oh, medical lady over here. <laughs> but being that I sat next to my dad as he got the terrible news, there's a song out there by, I think it's um, Faith's husband. Tim McGora, mm. You Live Like You're Dying. Mm. Because I really was proud of my father that he took the news and he ran with it. Mm. And he did everything. <clears throat> I mean, he went on a cruise, he bought himself a new car. Yeah. He made me sit down with him and we went over, uh, um, add to my list because it was my father who got going with the bucket list. Oh, wow. And I've ex I have, he'd be very proud because I have gone through all, oh. almost all my bucket list. Oh my goodness. Yep. <gasps> Not many people can say that. I, I rode a Greyhound bus and saw the United States. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Gosh, so what would you do? I can spend more time with family. Hmm, that's a good one. Yes, I feel like because life gets hectic. It does. When when that tornado hit, and I really didn't think because it happened. I know it was only maybe lasted not even a minute. Yeah. But within that minute, oh for sure, the trees coming down, the hole in the wall, the refrigerator moving. My thought was, I'm not going to get out of here alive. And I hope the people that I love know that I love them. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we all do. Well, I mean, I guess I can't speak for others, but I know I do. <laughs> Let me not put words in people's mouths. We're a mental health channel, people, okay? I'm not trying to rush anybody's feelings. <laughs> Man, you did so good. She went through that quick. You guys will have to answer one question in the comments and send it to me or text it to me or snap it to me, please, please, please. I feel like I did really good because I'm starting to run out of questions to ask people. <laughs> um, that was a good one. Today was a successful video, successful time, and I think we did a good job. I think we did a good job too. Okay guys, don't forget, I will be here next week and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for another video with another guest appearance of my mama. If we ask her, maybe she'll come back. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your night. And see you next week. Bye. Bye.
every time I look at my ears, I think about Brittany Wood, the big yellow house Brittany. Mm -hmm. And she, and uh, every time I look at my ears, I think about her because when we first found each other again, she was like, oh my God, you grew into your ears. <laughs> and I'm like, Brittany, don't do that. Grew into your ears. I did. Thank God, because it was shooting from my bitty face. <laughs> now ain't nobody wanted to tell you. Nobody did until then. I knew I was low key Dumbo. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I can't oh. push you off the balcony and see if you could fly. Well, I, we should have. But my ears would have been flapping in the oh, wind. It's probably why you low key like that movie. Reminded you of me. What do you think I cover my ears for? Yeah, me too. I hate I that out. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Leroy thing or what. It must be. <laughs> okay. Well, I had time to go over these questions. Yeah. And think. Yeah. I know. I At first, I wasn't sending them to people. And then, like, I see how, like, I test dummy did on mail. And I see how, like, we sat there a lot. And I was like, well, maybe I should send this to people. <laughs> Yeah, it gives them time to think. Yeah. I mean, some of these questions were fairly simple. I mean, right. anyone that knows me knows if I had three wishes, if I could spend the day. Yeah. It the... would always hands down be my mother. Yeah. Because my sure. mother, yeah, I, I lost her at a young age. I didn't get yeah. to, to I didn't share. get to meet any of, the, any of them. I didn't get to meet her mom or her dad. No, they were, yeah. That's yeah. true. Well, dang, I feel like that was a very successful video and interview. I think I did a great job of questions. You yes, did a great job of answering. Oh my gosh, you came up with the answer so fast. You like my shirt? I, I do It's love brand it. new. It's got X's and O's. I do love it. X's and O's is your thing. Yes. I mean, I could have worn yellow and green for the, uh, what is it, the football team, the Packers, but oh. <laughs> I had to wear X's and O's for hugs and kisses. Dun, dun, dun. So, X's and O's. Okay. Well, you heard it here. <laughs> gonna be so easy to edit <laughs> i'm so excited and it was a good video your phone vibrated somebody forgot to put their phone on vibrate who you mentioned in the packers for neil <laughs> knew it mm -hmm. and i wore the shirt x is no for you can send him the video too mm -hmm. oh okay bye